Hello everyone, this is Vern Seward from Go Geezer, and today we're going to talk about sleep pads. I gotta tell you, I really don't like sleeping on the ground. I mean, it can be soggy and just wet and nasty and muddy when it's raining, or it could be very hard and lumpy with rocks and things like that. It, it, it's just not comfortable and it's after a long day of hiking it's not something you want to lay on so a sleep pad can be the difference between getting a good night's sleep and not so much okay there are two different types of pads they are the foam pads which can be very comfortable but the problem with the foam pads is that they can be bulky and heavy so it's not something that you want to take on a long hike and then there are the inflatable pads. And inflatable pads are great because they pack down really small and can be very lightweight. Problem with inflatable pads is that you have to inflate them, which means they are balloons, which means you, they don't mix well with sharp objects. So you need to make sure that wherever you camp does not have you know, sharp rocks and that sort of thing. If you go with a foam pad, uh, you can use, if you're doing car camping, you know, camping out the back of your car, then a foam pad is a great option for that because obviously you can carry a lot more bulk in your car. Now, inflatable pads can come in various shapes and sizes, but the two most popular of which are the rectangular shaped pads, which are ones I tend to like and the cocoon shaped pads. Now the rectangular pads, like the ones I like to use, um, gives me more support and they also match the sleeping bag that I have, which tends to be, which is rectangular in shape. If you are going on a long hike and want to save as much weight as possible, then the cocoon shaped pad is probably something that you might want to opt for, especially if your sleeping bag is a cocoon shape. As I mentioned before, inflatable pads require inflation, uh, which means if you are a person who is, tends to be short of breath or has asthma, then you might want to consider getting an inflator. If you're away from your car, then you might want to get an inflator that is battery powered. Another option is to get a pad that doesn't require as many breaths to inflate it. Um, there are several in that, des that design. This one happens to be one like that. It's in a waffle design. It's from a company called Forsat, and I'm not really sure I'm pronouncing that right. It's spelled F-O-R-C-E-A-T-T. -T. Uh, there are several manufacturers who make bags in this design, uh, and it does not require a whole lot to get it inflated. This company uh, says that it requires 15 to 20 breaths to get it fully inflated. Um, I average about 17 breaths to get it inflated, and uh, so it and and it works pretty well. Now, the problem with this waffle design is that when you sit or kneel on the pad, uh, the place where you sit or kneel is essentially on the ground. The air goes away from those points into the rest of the bag. And so you don't get any sort of cushioning when you're where you're sitting or kneeling. If you're lying on the pad, that's not a problem because your weight is more evenly distributed across the pad. Uh, if, you're, if you need something to sit on, uh, a pad that you want to sit on also, then you might want to opt for a air mattress type of pad. But again, those can be bulky and they can be heavy. Uh, the nice thing about this waffle design is that they're very, very lightweight and uh, they're very easy to blow up. Okay, I think this one is fully inflated. So let's see what it looks like in the, uh, in the tent with a sleeping bag on the top of it, shall we? Okay. Okay, as you can see, it fits very nicely in my tent. Um, it doesn't cover the whole floor. And uh, you can actually probably get another um, sleep pad in here as well. This is a two person tent. And if I scoot that all the way over, it looks like I can get another sleep pad in here. I'm going to put my sleeping bag on this now and let's see what that looks like. Okay, so here I am on my pad. You can see right here, this pad is my sleeping bag. And um, I have to say, this is a very comfortable sleeping pad. Uh, it uh, is supporting my weight all the way through uh, from head to toe. And um, yeah, so it's 
it's very nice. One of the things that you might want to consider too is the material that the pad is made of. This one is made of uh, nylon. It's supposed to be ripstop nylon, which is supposed to be very tough. It also came with a patch kit, which I hope I never have to use. So, uh, so there you go. I would, if, if I was going to recommend a type of sleep pad, I would recommend the waffle type like this, uh, likely rectangular if that's what you need. And um, it's very easy to blow up, very easy to pack. I think it packs into a 10 inch long uh, and maybe a two inch wide uh, sack that it all goes into. So, um, so it packs down very small and very lightweight. I, I, I think it's a little over a pound in weight. So again, very lightweight. All right, that's gonna do it today for Go Geezer. I hope you stop by uh, Go Geezer again for other how to's, okay? Have a great one. <laughs> okay, one more time. <laughs> As I mentioned before, inflatable. Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. What is the deal with this thing? <sighs> Camera is always. This. What is the deal? Oh. <sighs>